While planes fly in and out of Hopkins Airport all the time, one plane does stand out from the rest, a sight to see more clearly than ever before. A NASA experiment being done right here, pushing the boundaries of what's possible with sharing video in space. News 5's Clay Lepard explains how your future high-quality video stream may have NASA in Cleveland to thank. Whether it's a live stream of your kid's game or FaceTiming with family, Hi, Dad. streaming video is part of our everyday life, making quite some strides from its early beginnings. That's one small step for man. And now, thanks to this plane, it could get even better. That's because last month, okay, we're tracking well. This Cleveland based NASA crew was able to successfully stream 4K video. Hello to our crew aboard the International Space Station. From their plane to the International Space Station. Never happened before in, in human history. Research pilot Mark Russell explains lasers are what makes it possible. Everything's digital now. And because everything's digital, you got to figure out how the infrastructure is going to work together. So after streaming 4K video for the first time from a plane right here to the International Space Station, what's next? How about streaming 4K video to and from the moon? Our goal is to build a solar system internet. Let's see if we get you up on the screen. As a result, lead engineer Rachel Dudukovich says the public could watch live video coverage of astronauts on the moon in high definition or better during the upcoming Artemis missions. This is going to allow astronauts to transmit data and have video conferencing with people back on Earth. Crystallizing what's possible out there by testing it right here. We can take things that are not completely refined, fleshed out, and get them out in the field and stress test them. As we get to the moon and eventually to Mars, we have long range communications that we have to solve. And you can't wait minutes or even you know half an hour for a signal to go back and forth for instructions. Uh, you need seconds, and that's what laser communication is going to do for the, the agency and actually the humanity. Testing out there for technology that in the long run is going to help all of us down here at NASA Glenn Research Center in Cleveland. NASA ground, we've got 200 megabits per second locked up. Clay Lepard, News 5.